This is the iconic image of Hong Kong, but so is this. I hope our creations can bring a sense of what Hong Kong is actually like. A miniature marble, just as vibrant as the city itself but with more sense of urgency. We would often even see elderly people whose eyes would tear up when they saw our models. That sentiment born of nostalgia. Maybe because our creations cause them to reminisce about the things they've once experienced, lived through, or saw. This might trigger their memories. Some of the scenes no longer exist in real life. The bustling Kai Tak amusement park shut down in 1982. That building behind the Tai Hong Fire Dragon Festival demolished. Those neon store signs beckoning customers dwindling by the day. It could be something small, even just a poster or a bowl of beef brisket noodles. It could get people to remember something and become emotional. That's what motivated Tony Lai and Maggie Chan to create these models in meticulous detail tangible and durable pieces of the past, along with city symbols at risk of disappearing. The depictions sparked by some of their own childhood memories. Why did I make food in the beginning? It's because my dad, during our childhood, he would love to bring us different foods. In order to relive these memories, these flavorful memories, I really enjoyed making just food. Preserving the past has been difficult in Hong Kong. Real estate developers have power and leverage in a cramped city with high housing demand and short supply. So many colonial buildings that have withstood time are succumbing to modern market forces. But Chan and Lai hope by recreating the past, Hong Kongers will be able to hold on to their history and heritage. At the end of the day, Hong Kong is a big city. So there's lots of architecture or things from our childhood that have disappeared one by one. If we can use our abilities with miniature models as a way to recreate these, then it's a happy thing. Francis Coe, CGTN.